welcome to United Daily. Now, as the team prepare for pre-season this week, we've been chatting to David De Gea and he's told us how much he's looking forward to visiting the international fans. I think it's great to, to be able to travel first and be able to play in front of home of our fans, uh, especially away from, from England, uh, around the world. And uh, it's always great to be with, with our fans and try to, to make them enjoy. It's been a tough of years with the COVID situation, so be able to travel around the world and, and be with our fans, uh, I think it's going to be very, very uh, nice and, and we can wait, the, the whole team. I think we are all very excited to, to, for the new season, for the new manager, uh, I think he played a very good football, so for, for sure the fans will, will love it. Now there has been news of two departures today from the women's team. Goalkeeper Fran Bentley has joined Bristol City on a permanent basis and Loney Cena Brun has returned to her parent club, Olympique Lyonnais. The club wishes both players the very best of luck. Staying with the women's team now, it was a successful night as all three Reds featured for the Lionesses. Alessia Russo won player of the match after she broke the deadlock and scored the first of England's four against Switzerland last night. Mary Earps kept another clean sheet and Ella Toon came on for Fran Kirby with just under half an hour to go. The Lionesses next face Austria at Old Trafford on the 6th of July for the opening Euros match. And there was a 50th international cap for Vilda Boerisa this week as she looks forward to the Euros with United teammate Maria Torristotia for Norway. There was also a young red involved in England's under-19s last night. Tara Bourne played 90 minutes for the young Lionesses in their second UEFA Women's Under-19 Championship match against Sweden, but unfortunately narrowly lost 1-0. They sit second in the group and face Germany next Sunday. Some of you may remember schoolboy Ben Dickinson who walked from his hometown land in Northern Ireland to Old Trafford back in March and it was all to raise money for Fair Share UK. He has been awarded with the Diana Award which is the highest accolade a young person in the UK can achieve for social action or humanitarian efforts. And we just want to say a massive congratulations to Ben from everyone here at the club. That's it for United Daily this week but before we go we must say happy birthday to United legend Ruud van Nistelrooy. And we're going to leave you with his sensational goal against Fulham in 2003. And this still right. And it's carried on going here. And still Van Nistelrooy. Oh, that's a fabulous goal. That is absolutely sensational from Ruud Van Nistelrooy. He has scored some unbelievable goals since he arrived at Old Trafford. But that surely must be right up there with them.